I was in the Navy for a year and eight months. I discharged in 2006. What was it like for you when you got out of the Navy? It was rough. What um, do you, mean? you go from a very structured timetable, everything, you know, when you're doing what. And I was like, all right, now what? And I was just in a rough spot. It was major depression, anxiety, uh, PTSD from my dad passing away. Stacy Edwards has opened her barn and her heart here at Special Equestrians of Georgia to help as many vets as possible for free. It's such a long road, I think, for anybody, but for the veterans who are already dealing with life issues and then post-traumatic stress and then trying to have a family. And, you know, there's so many things that we just as humans have to deal with. Hold tight. In 12 years of offering horse therapy here, she has yet to break even in operating costs, but says she can't afford to not do this. With PTSD, you can't get out of your head. Getting out of your head is therapeutic in itself. It's amazing to watch horses connect with people who have stuff going on, but for veterans in particular, it's a big, powerful animal that seems to understand them. How has it made a difference in your life? It's pretty much saved my life, going from a very dark place um, and not having a lot of people to talk to or people I was comfortable talking to about all the issues I had. For me, it was just wanting to run from everything, which I did for a long time. It's a lot of suicidal thoughts, and I still battle with them. I still battle with a lot of anxiety, but there's an outlet for all that now. Really hits home with me because my dad is a military vet, and my brother is a military vet. My dad, uh, he was a Tuskegee Airman. He served in World War II, Korea War, U.S. Army, and then later uh, U.S. Air Force. He would also be an Olympian representing USA, representing the armed forces. Most of his years, he did not talk about his military service. And about five years before his passing, did we as a family even know that he had been struggling with PTSD. Learning of his diagnosis and not knowing of the signs and not knowing that he may have been struggling with this all these years also kind of adds to the agony of what it is for so many military vets that many are suffering in silence. Like the markings on a horse, there are so many unique ways these massive magical creatures touch our lives. I've loved them from early on, even volunteering as a teen at Rock Creek Horse Center in Washington, D.C. This should feel good, girl. I think when I came here, it was really for selfish reasons that I would get a chance to be around horses. But at the same time, what I ended up seeing here was that there was this beautiful therapeutic riding program. And I would see how transformational it would be when you would have riders who had Down syndrome, who had neurological, who had spinal issues. I have cerebral palsy. I realized with horseback riding, the horses don't judge who you are. They judge you on how well you can like try. They judge on your success. They judge on your feelings. They want to help you. Oh, no. Everyone is looking for new outlets in which to address things that they have encountered, whether in combat or in training. The technique of equine therapy has advanced so much that challenges are just being tackled differently today. I mean, you are changing people's lives. I hope so. I like to help however I can. I think our most vulnerable population is also one of our most special populations, especially our vets. Mm -hmm.